were blaring Nirvana. We were like, he was telling me like about his his inspiration and what I gathered from it. And we, as we saw the collection come alive and we put a lot of clothes on the girls and we saw them walk, I kind of got inspired by a modern day grunge girl, if that makes sense, a modern day music festival girl. She's a girl rocker. And with that being said, we really wanted to emulate the skin as being as natural as possible. And then with the eyebrows, I wanted to detail them a little bit, push them up. It kind of gives it a little bit of an edgier feeling because the eyebrows are actually really pushed up and really brought in and, they, and it kind of comes to life as she's her own kind of rock star, if that makes sense. On the eyes, there is a brand new duo called the Bhutan, which I'm obsessed with. I actually just used the lighter shade for the show, just to kind of add a little bit of depth to the eye socket. It's on the center of the eye and a little bit on the crease. And then to really make this look quite edgy and kind of rocker, I curled the lashes and I added about 11 coats of mascara. I'm a longtime fan of Philips, uh, and I, I definitely incorporate his clothes in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> but I, I admire his um, his sense of individuality. I, I, I really like. Um, I just I appreciate his aesthetic, and I, I love that it's something you can definitely wear on a on a red carpet or for an event. But also, it's it's very wearable. I I definitely incorporate it into my uh, my wardrobe constantly. It was called Cut It Up, and um, it was a theory used in um, uh, philosophy and literature and finally in music, and I think most people would recognize it in music. Um, I don't want to say grunge because, you know, the grunge is such synonymous with something else, and it's, for me it's a romantic parallel, you know, it's like really the bits and pieces that we took from this, uh, that genre, the signifiers, we removed them, put it in a straight line, and cut them up and then rearrange them without discarding anything and then read it that way. You saw all these layers and layers and layers and at the same time it's like a painting, you know? Um, when there's so much information it becomes like the most zen thing. I took colors from everywhere, you know, I took colors from life, prints from life, I, I, you know, it, it, it's really about the life we live, you know, um, just trying to like make something out of ourselves and trying to find our way and along the way we pick up all these um, prints and patterns and colors and this time I wanted to put it all together, just like the way someone really naive would put it without, um, without being so jaded by fashion, you know. Um, youthful and energetic and cool and a bit badass, you know, so I like that. I love the kind of youthful spirit to a collection and I love the, the overall vibe and the, I don't know, there was just a real kind of cool attitude about it. It's the restriction because when you cut, when you have a, a sentence, or you have um, you have a, 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 a silhouette, you know what I mean, and you can only work with that. And they're like, okay, so this is a line. Now give me uh, a trapezoid, you know what I mean? But you can't add anything to it, you know what I mean? When I think creative people, sometimes we need to be restricted. Then, when, then at, when we're restricted, then it, it's the most creative because it's like lemons out of lemonade. kind of a 1990s 
grunge collection. Nirvana for all of us because I love the 90s. That pant that had a little faux wrap shirt and sweater around the waist. The idea of a overall, which we haven't seen on a runway in a long time. And the interesting combination and little kind of ditzy calico prints I thought were sweet and really charming. So a lot of really fun things for a girl that wants to have a really girly moment. It's going to all be there for spring. For me, it's always a really important thing to come out and see his show, just to see, aside from just, um, you know, see him and support him, but also just to see what he's doing, because I'm so, you know, um, I love what he does, and he's so inspiring, and um, yeah, it's always great to see what he does. Where is she? She's everywhere. She's like, um, she's like, she's like the modern day dandelion. For me, it's about celebrating like the context. Yeah, and here in New York, and this is New York Fashion Week, and I love it.